Robert Kennedy Jr. and Michael Kennedy met with Cuban President Fidel Castro, the man who was their uncle's most bitter Cold War enemy. Castro almost completed construction of a nuclear power plant, uh, which gives people a lot of concern. I work for a couple of environmental groups. I'm a senior staff attorney at NRDC. We've done a number of energy projects throughout the Americas. Where am I complicit in a war against the Earth? Industrial farming is the single biggest destructive force on the planet today. Vandana Shiva is the reason why there are no GMO foods in India. She's become kind of a rock star. It's like a phenomenon. This is Vandana Shiva. I'm Van. <laughs> yeah. That's a part of Vandana. Food is a weapon. When you control food, you control society. You know, energy. Lovely energy. There have been times where people would kill for these potatoes. Oh, you know, organic farming and a more sustainable approach to agriculture won't feed the world. And, you know, there are tens of thousands of them all, you know, competing, trying to get a mate, trying to say something to each other, trying to outcompete each other. Certainly a few parallels between the bird world and the human world. Albert Howard was sent by the British to improve agriculture. We, we cannot put all our trust in in giant operations and huge, uh, you know, industrial systems because they have within them the seeds of their own destruction. The whole of modern commercial farming was designed to battle against nature. The role he's playing behind the scenes and putting people together at creating coalitions that start to work on a different plane. He is a monarch of a different kind. Yeah, well, Van Dana Sheba is another person for whom I have the, the most enormous admiration. I call him my friend who is the peasant prince. Oh, well, organic farming is all very well, but it's just for a niche market, and it can only be afforded by people who, you know, have money. Very, very carefully uh, developed that Prince Charles should be made to look like he's some kind of a loony on the French. You would then make it more expensive to produce food in a way that damages the environment. 20% of the population will need to be involved with agriculture because host fossil fuel, we're going to need more um, human input. Cubans are all on bicycles now, you know, because there's no oil in the country. When the Revolutionary War started, the British grand strategy was to seize the Hudson River Valley. The idea was based on an old British idea, really, where they had river keepers who took care of the private trout and salmon streams for private fishing clubs. They began talking that night about violence. Somebody suggested that they drop a match onto the discharge from the Penn Central Pipe and blow it up. Another person said that they should float a raft of dynamite into the Indian Point power plant intake for the first time in history. The environmentalists have standing to sue if they can show that they take some kind of a spiritual and aesthetic pleasure from it. And it opened the door to environmentalists to come into court and start bringing these lawsuits plume of influence. Nature to me was always something that was important to fill some emptiness inside of me. Because he went to uh, Jesuit school, which I did too. I love politics. Uh, it's, it, it's politics is what I do now, you know, as an environmentalist. One of the first great battles of the environmental movement in this country was the fight over the Indian Point power plant. You know, Kissinger had said, uh, if you control food, you control people.